What can you do with conversation candy hearts that no one wants to eat? You can use them to dye some yarn. The candy hearts I'm using right here, I actually used to dye a sock blank in a live stream to get those little heart shaped impressions on there. And so I had a pan of half dissolved candy hearts that I brought over to do some immersion dyeing. Uh, in this pan, I have a superwash merino based yarn. We have water and vinegar. And then by just sprinkling the candy on, the candy will dissolve and sort of deposit that food coloring in various spots on the yarn. And then you can move the yarn and add more candy until you get something you're satisfied with. Now, I recommend avoiding any candy that has wax as an ingredient, like jelly beans. Uh, that doesn't dissolve well and then will solidify on the yarn. And when you wash the yarn, you want to wash it really well because sometimes the yarn can be slightly stiff after dealing with candy, but I find that it really does soften well in the end and you end up with a yarn that is pretty and usable and honestly, in my opinion, is a better use for these conversation hearts than eating them because I personally don't like the taste. And if you want a similar effect, you can use any other chalky candy to get similar results. Uh, some brands may have things that are more pigmented than others. And so, yeah, you just want to make sure that they have artificial food coloring. And then if they do, you can use them to dye in.